Hey, this is Jeff of Filtered Ink. I'm going to do an update on the bottom bracket that came out of the Schwinn Traveler that I am going to switch over and put in this. It's a old vintage Panasonic um, Villager 3. And it was originally a 3, 4, 5. Yeah, this was originally a 10 speed too. I just want a nice single speed and nice single speed bike with um a big front sprocket and a tiny little rear sprocket. Just something that you can get some good speed on. And so I have everything taken apart and cleaned. This is the bottom bracket and the crank from the Schwinn Traveler that's going to go into the Panasonic. And everything is in really good condition. Like it's all been degreased and cleaned off and this is like the world's first origami condom. If you haven't heard of the origami condom, Google it. <laughs> and so that's that was actually, it goes over this and it was inside the bottom bracket of the Schwinn. But here's all that. I'm going to replace the bearings. Here's some new bearings. And here is the cups, the outer cups that go on either side of the bottom bracket. And uh, the races are really clean and they're smooth on these. And then here's the cages for the bearings. And then there's the new bearings, of course. And then here's the 52 tooth front sprocket and it's really good condition still. And it's got some nice shine on it. There's maybe a couple chipped teeth, but other than that, it's not gonna switch gears or anything. So it shouldn't make a difference as far as how the chain sits and how the chain works on it. And then here is the the cage, basically the cage and crank attached. And so this is in really good condition. So that's that. And I'm going to put it all together. And this is going to be for the Panasonic. All right. Jeff with Filtered Ink. Don't let school get in the way of your education.